Welcome back to Mommy Daughter Science Time and today I'm back with my brothers from the twins. Say hi guys. Hi guys. Hi. 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 So fast for us. Um what do we have today? What are we talking about? Some fruits and vegetables? Yes. So do should we eat fruits and vegetables every day, fast for us? Yes. Uh, do you eat any fruits and vegetables? Yes. Well, we'll when we now eat fruits, fruits and vegetables, and vegetables look, what happens is he falls because he doesn't eat fruits and vegetables. So if you don't eat fruits and vegetables, your teeth fall out? Yes. <gasps> wow, so that's why. Who, what's your favorite vegetable? And broccoli. Broccoli, really? And what's your favorite fruit, Firas? What's your favorite vegetable? Do you have a favorite vegetable? Do you actually eat vegetables? How about some potato? Orange. Orange is a fruit. Um, he definitely eats a lot of vegetables. What yes. about what about corn? Yes. Okay. Fast. What's your I favorite definitely fruit? eat a lot of kind of vegetables. A lot of kind of vegetables, really? Uh huh. Oh, that's a vegetable. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make broccoli for Faz actually and give it to him because he said his favorite vegetable is broccoli. I want broccoli. <laughs> you were just being silly. I know that. All right, so we are doing a science experiment today from Mal Chemistry. Uh, it's a science subscription. Uh, that we uh, signed up for with Mal Chemistry. They send you experiments every month and then you just have all the supplies to work with. And it's sometimes you need some supplies from home, such as for today's experiment, we're going to use some fruits and vegetables from our house. A uh, lime or lemon. Okay. An orange. Okay. And a potato. All right. So let's see what we got here. Of course, you want to have safety measures. So um, make sure you wear your goggles gloves. and gloves. And I'm what gonna... else do you have, Hiba, over there? So we have a disposable cup. This one comes in the starter kit. We have a big spoon. This one also comes in the starter kit. It's not that big, but yes, it's all we need. A tiny spoon. Uh -huh. We have this absorbent that comes in this kit. We also have a uh, special paper that comes in this kit as well. Okay, and what else do you have in those little bottles? We have CuSO4, which is copper sulfuric acid. That's the ga uh, chemistry um, name or chemical name or the structure or chemical yep. formula. And Cu stands for copper and SO4 is sulfuric acid. So you got some sulfuric acid, so that's not safe, so make sure you always have some gloves. That's yes. why they provide you with gloves. My and brothers there. are not going to be touching this, so that's why I have gloves. Good. And what else do you have there? We also have Kl or potassium iodide. Alright. We have Ki. K stands for it's potassium and I stands for iodine. So we have potassium iodide in there. Perfect. So we got all the supplies that we need and we're going to do some fun experiment using some fruits and vegetables. Uh, what, what We do have to use uh, fruits and vegetables every day in our diet. Make sure you eat those fruits and vegetables. You need to have enough servings every day so that way you have enough vitamins. <laughs> so uh, this experiment includes or uh, works on which vitamin, Hiba? Vitamin C! Vitamin C! And what happens if you don't have enough vitamin C in your body? You can get a disease called scurvy, which makes you very weak and makes your teeth fall out. Okay, so vitamin C builds up our immune system! Yep! Your body cannot produce vitamin C on its own, so it has to get it from food! And mainly from the citrus fruit, like lemon and orange. That's why we orange. have those. All right, so don't forget to eat your citrus fruits to get some vitamin C and boost your immune system. 
My you know potatoes aren't citrus, let alone fruit, but we can still use them for this experiment. I'm going to change my fruit. What's your Orange. favorite fruit now? <laughs> you guys are so funny. Alright, let's do the experiment, guys. Okay, so first what we'll do is we'll take our spoon from the start of here. And what are you using here, about? The sulfuric acid? This is Uso or sulfuric acid. acid. Okay. You know what's crazy about the spoon? Little thing. So it's a measuring spoon that has two sides. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're using the big side of the spoon. That's how it looks like. The powder. That's blue. Can you see? That's the sulfuric acid. Okay. Pour that in. Pour Can that into the cup. The, the disposable cup that we have. Mm -mm. Don't touch anything. You guys can't touch this. Okay? We need to touch and now we'll need two big spoons of potassium iodide. You need to push down to open these. So iodine acts like a dye, and that's the reason why we're using the iodine. So we're putting two spoons of iodine, potassium iodide. We already got one into the sulfuric acid and uh, we already see some color uh, so what happens is that it uh, reacts the copper sulfuric acid reacts to the potassium iodide and you get a reaction and that's what uh, makes the dye so we're going to see that uh, dye and use it on the paper and then see what happens with the fruit and what it turns into, the paper that we have, the plain white paper. So we was trying her best to squeeze the potassium iodide out of that little bottle. It's very hard because it's like a plug with a few small Okay, so show the droplets that you're putting in there. As you can see, we use the same spoon for the um, the senko, the puso, the copper sulfate. Yeah, you see that color changing? Mm -hmm. Alright, and, and you the can potassium see the iodide is clear, as you can see, the bottle. And we have the second spoon. Let's pour that in. Okay, mix it together, Heba. Just swirl it. Just swirl the glass. Oh, sorry. That's right. Look at that dark liquid. That's the iodine dye. Uh, iodine dye is used in a lot of look, look, look. labs and chemistry experiments as well as biology. It's actually sticking together. Biological um, experiments. Cool. All right. It's used to stain cells as well. Alright, so we have um, the fruits and vegetables that we need to slice them up, Hiba. Be careful. Do one at a time. Um, we got most of it ready for you. Awesome. And then, um, Faz is going to do the line. And Firas is going to do the orange. And Heba is going to do the potato. potato. Which time will be a bag? Which time will be a Let's show All right. So now we have the dye ready, our fruits and vegetables ready. Let's set the nice knife aside, Heba. Okay. And um, the gonna, next step is to take our absorbent and Absorbent is made out of just cotton. Basically, um, what we're going to do is 
Put the absorbent in the dye. Let it absorb. So as you can see, the absorbent is already on the the dye is on the absorbent. Okay. That seed. Cause we have our own garden. All right, hey, bud. We're gonna take out. We're gonna do this. I take out the seed. So we had regular piece of paper that they Mommy, gave to us. The seed is lovely. We are making it all stained. Look at the seed made of hole. Look at the seed. It's like a marker. Just make sure every little area on where you're gonna put the fruit is stained. We're not staining the whole thing. We're just gonna see where we put the fruit. Do the whole paper because we have big fruits and veggies. You're right. And we're gonna be putting it all over. So, as you can see, it was this rectangular piece of white paper. We have just stained the whole paper with the dye that we created from the copper sulfate and potassium iodide. Almost done. Now that paper is all dark. Yep. Just like how they showed it in the experiment. Alright, so we have the paper ready. Okay. Do we have to let the paper dry, Hiba? No. Okay, so fruits are ready, vegetables are ready. What are we going to do? Put it on and let's see what happens. The vitamin C will react to the paper yes. and the dye. Mm -hmm. Orange. And then we're going to leave it for 15 minutes. We'll be right back. So now it's about 15 minutes. It's, you can keep it 5 to 15 minutes to see the reaction. Uh, what the fruits do to the paper. Uh, so basically this experiment is testing how much vitamin C uh, these fruits and vegetables have. Yes. So I just like the line. The ones that have a lot of vitamin C will appear white spicy. or light color. The one and the ones is super sour. Yes, lemon is super sour. Let me see the orange. Yum! And the sweet. I Super sour. Guys, try it. Try the lime again. I want to see your reaction to the lime. Try it, Buzz. I want to see your reaction. Try it. So the more sour it is, let's see the more vitamin C it has. Let's First, see what happens yeah, to the reaction. Yeah, your orange. Be careful. <gasps> it's like white. That means it has a lot of vitamin C. Catch it. Yay. Don't lick it. All right. What That's happens awesome. with the lemon? Let's see the lemon. The lime. <gasps> lemon is the darkest. <gasps> the potato. The potato is third. So orange then, is the most vitamin C, and then lime or lemon is second, and then the potato. Look at the aftermath of the potato. That's extreme. That's Potato really reacted to the potassium. The it's orange white. Potato turns so dark. Let's compare it. This is the raw potato that we just cut and, and licked. And this is the one that reacted with the iodide. So it has the least amount of vitamin C. Yep. And this is the comparison. It looks one awesome. of the oranges left. It looks exactly the same. Look, when I squeeze it. No, don't squeeze it! Look, this is the left and orange, but this is the left and no, orange, but this is not. This is not left and orange, but this is the left. The yeah, and you do not want to lick the eat one. the one that was on iodine. Remember, it had sulfuric acid. 
we are not going to eat any of these fruits now because they were in the experiment and they had iodine in it now. This is the one we just cut it and this is the one that's on the iodine but it's the line. But it got a little dirty because it fell. <laughs> it reacted to the this iodine. This one fell, not this one. Okay. So it reacted to the iodine. So this was the experiment that we did to see uh, vitamin C, ascorbic acid, and how much each of these fruits or vegetables have. When food is lacking this molecule or ascorbic acid, the body can contract a particular nasty disease called, called scurvy. Scurvy. So that's why you have to make sure that you take vitamin C and boost your immune system. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so that way you can get notified when we make new videos and be the very first to watch them.